when you're traveling and you're writing, you said you're taking a week right now, and I appreciate you taking time to, to speak with me this morning before you get back to your writing. Do, is it just a matter of let me take a week here and write as much as I possibly can while you're traveling? Or are you writing on planes and trains? Or how, how are you getting your writing in? For some reason, I get so much work done on trains and planes and boats. You know, it's it's for, for some reason, I just am, always seem to, to get creatively inspired while traveling, uh, which made it really hard during the pandemic because I was just home. And trying to work while at home, while you think, oh, I have all of this time since I'm not traveling, it was like pulling teeth trying to get writing done when I didn't get to travel. So now that I'm, I'm traveling again, I'm really, I'm really appreciating that time and the creativity that comes with being in a new place. Because I think that really, that always inspires me. Being someplace new where I had never been before always seems to get my creative juices flowing. I've read elsewhere that you're on average looking for around 50 to 60 pages a month and that you do everything handwritten to force yourself to do at least another draft when you're typing it up later, right? Yes, uh, I, I write, I start longhand. I, I use a, a fountain pen because fountain pens are cool and <laughs> I uh, write longhand uh, and I'll write a chapter and then, and usually, you know, it's, it's just kind of stream of consciousness, but then as I type it into the computer, it gets a complete revision and I really hone it. And then I'll revise it multiple times until I'm satisfied with that chapter. Then I'll move to the next chapter, which means going back to the notebook. Uh, I, I love doing it that way. I think if I stayed on the computer, my entire life would be looking at a screen. And I don't want that. I like the idea of varying it a little bit. There are times when I'm really in the zone that I'll actually just dictate because it's coming that quickly. Uh, and so between the dictation and the... And, and the handwriting, that's that's pretty much how I always start. You know, the process always moves to the computer eventually, but never starts there. Does that make you feel at all nervous or vulnerable that, hey, if I spill my coffee on this notebook, I'm done. <laughs> I don't have it backed up on the cloud. Yeah, that, and, and that's happened. I've lost I've lost notebooks. If I wait too long to, to transcribe it, I can't read my handwriting, so I have no idea what I wrote. So it's like trying to read a Rorschach, trying to figure out what, what I was trying to say. Uh, yeah, that's that's always a concern. Uh, so so I do that. I try to do that transcription fairly quickly. Once I'm done writing that chapter, I go back and I'll and I'll start to type it in and and really hone it. When you've lost uh, notebooks, and I'm sorry to, to bring up this traumatic uh, experience, I'm sure. Um, I, I had the experience uh, of a, a computer was, our house was broken into and a computer was stolen and I didn't yet have the cloud. So I lost the uh, first part of a novel and I was, I was fortunate enough, I rewrote it. And I'm like, okay, well, this version's probably better. And if it's not, well, I'll never know because the other one's gone. Oh, it always is. It's always better. Do when that happens, convinced. do you go back and 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 do a new version, or do you just say, okay, well, that's gone. Next story. No, I I, I go back and just redo it, and and I generally I feel that it's better. I mean, the the time that I that really happened was it was years ago. I was working on, uh, I think it was Speeding Bullet, many many years ago, earlier in my career, and I was writing in the notebook, and I hadn't been transcribing, and I was just writing it straight into the notebook, and. I had about maybe 50 pages and I left the notebook in the seat back of an airplane, never got it back. So I had to, I had to go back and redo the whole thing. And it was probably the best thing that ever happened to that book. <laughs> At least but, that's what I tell myself. Well, I, I know you said elsewhere that you write down some ideas that you have some idea of, but unless it's a, a burning passion, you're not probably not going to, that's not going to be the story that you write anyway. Am I, am I paraphrasing that more or less correct? Yeah. I mean, I, I tend to have many more ideas than I have time to write. Uh, and not every idea, not every idea gets the attention. And the ones that get the attention are the ones that are screaming and just, just seem to just feel like this is the story that must be told. Uh, I, I try not to write stories that I don't have that kind of passion for, because first of all, it'll be harder to write a story if I don't have passion for it. And, and if I'm not passionate about a story, that's going to, that's going to get right into the pages. I mean, you're going to, you're going to feel that lack of, of passion when you read it. So I want all the things that I write to have that sense of urgency 
uh, while I'm writing it. And I'm hoping that that uh, translates right to the reader. And so, um, oh, right now, as I'm talking to you, when you're spending a week and you're focused just on writing before you get back to traveling and the tour, what does your workday look like? Uh, well, let's see. Today, I was doing a lot of logistical things in terms of organizing, organizing my thoughts, uh, taking care of emails and business things that need to be cleared out of the way before I can actually put all of my attention into writing. And then once I feel as if I sort of have those, you know, everything's kind of held back and I can actually focus in, uh, tomorrow I'll probably get up early and spend at least uh, three hours writing. Then I'll go and swim or, or exercise at the gym and I'll, then I'll have something to eat. And I'll come back to write for another three or four hours. Then I'll take another break and I'll try to write in the evening for another three hours. I mean, it's, it's on, on days where I'm really focusing on writing. I try to get around nine to 10 hours of writing done. Uh, the, the other day when I, we, we, we had this, uh, the train, this train ride from, from Prague to Frankfurt, which is like a seven hour train ride. And we, we booked that specifically so that we could get the chance to, to go across the countryside and see, you know, see Europe, but also, I knew during those seven hours, I was going to be writing and I got an awful lot of work done. So, uh, you know, trying to get at least my, my, my goal when I'm on having writing days is to get at least six hours of writing done in a writing day. Don't always manage to do that. Uh, there are some days when I'm just, I just don't have the creativity or there are too many other things going on both outside around me or in my own head that I can't focus in. Uh, but when I can, I try to take advantage of that creativity. When we're talking six hours, are we talking just pen, literally, since you're handwriting, pen, pen to page? Uh, or is that count like doing a little bit of research on the Internet or whatever it is you need you to know, do? It, count, it counts all of that. I mean, usually I'll, I'll uh, do, the, do the handwriting. And then once I'm done with a section of a chapter, or that, that, then I'll switch to the computer and type it in. Uh, I'll, if I need to do research, I'll do research in the, during in the process. But it's just focusing on the story in one way or another. Okay, I wanted to clarify because later I'll be beating myself up that I'm checking something on the internet. Like, no, Neil Schusterman said six hours straight. So, <laughs> no, no, that's the, that's the goal. That's the goal. That, like I said, I very rarely actually meet that goal. There are writers I know who, uh, like, like Jonathan Mayberry, he writes 2,000 words a day, no matter what. That's his, you know, it's, no matter what's going on in his life, 2,000 words a day. Wow. I can't do that. I, 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 I can't be so regimented as to be able to, to get that done. There's, there's entire weeks when I can't get writing done. And then there's days where I just have endless energy for multiple days to get work done and where the creativity is there. So for me, it really comes in fits and starts. And when you uh, start your day with, with doing the business and the emails, an issue I run into is if I send out a bunch of emails, sooner or later people start responding. And now I've got a bunch of responses that I've just created more work for myself. Whereas if I push that off to the end of the day, do you just block all that out? You take yourself completely and make yourself unavailable while you're being creative? Or how do you handle that? Yeah, I wish. I wish I, wish I, I had the... Uh the determination and the, the ability to just not look at the emails and not, you know, look at all that. My, the one thing that I have managed to do is I've managed to take a lot of social media off my plate because, you know, it, it's a black hole for me. If I start get start on social media, that'll be it for the day. And so I have a social media manager that, uh, that posts stuff and then sends me stuff that fans, that fans respond, you know, responses from fans. Uh, and if I have anything that I want to post, I just send it, send it to her and she figures out which platforms to put it on. Uh, and so I sort of keep, keep a little bit of a distance from social media most of the time. Uh, but when it comes to emails, yeah, I'm always checking those emails. I'm always getting interrupted by, by, by things coming in that, that demand my attention immediately, you know, and, uh, and so I try to, I, I try not to, but you know, it's it's I, I have the same problem that you have you know it always 
it, those emails just seem to be calling to me, even if I'm trying to write. I mean, 50 books, it's, it's working out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's getting done. <laughs>